let's talk about the racing and the packaging and how that championship has evolved, your championship has evolved over, let's say, over the last decade. It's, it's the TV, TV is first and foremost, unfortunately, with any motorsport. Why it, do you say it, Well, it lives and dies on TV. You know, you, yeah. can, you can be a bit more purist. Um, and we're, you know, we're both motorsport enthusiasts. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't think I am, but I am, and you know I well, am. I know you are, yeah. Um, but we're, and the purist in me, you wouldn't do certain things um, if you had your druthers, if you weren't, if you weren't doing, playing to an audience, if you like. Um, but it was, it, was, it was blindly obvious that to make any motorsport championship successful, you've got to play to the audience. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what it's got to be. It's got to be entertaining, it's got to be exciting, uh, and it's got to be close motorsport. And, and the way we go about our motorsport is different to what Formula One does. You know, it's, uh, Formula One is, a, is, is an incredibly technical exercise. Touring car racing isn't. You know, it, um, so, so we have all sorts of ways and means of, of, of delivering um, uh, cars that are equal in performance, um, of making the racing exciting by, by doing, doing the grids in different ways and everything else. Um, and it makes the championship uh, an incredibly close you know, uh, uh, and exciting championship to watch. It's never boring. There were, however, some pivotal moments. When, when Formula One went towards pay television because that's where the big money was coming from. You've steadfastly remained with free-to-air TV, yeah, for example. Look, in, in the mid-90s, I was made a very good offer by, by Sky uh, at that time um, to, to, to go on to pay per view. And, and I, I could have done that and laid on the beach in Barbados for the rest of my life because it was a very, it was a very uh, lucrative um, uh, offer, but I would have killed the championship doing it. Um, my, my, I've always been after eyeballs. You know, they're, they're the things that drive our championships, eyeballs, trackside and watching on TV. So our, our, our TV deal with ITV is, is an enormously uh, successful one for both parties and then to, to the point where we've gone into a new five-year contract with ITV. And that's the longest sporting contract they've ever had. Uh, and they deliver 260 hours of free TV to the BTCC per year and that's you know, live all day from 11 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock at night, highlights, repeats, all this sort of stuff. I just won the eyeballs and it's eyeballs that drive, that drive this championship. It's what brings the sponsors in, it's what brings the manufacturers, it what's bring, it, it's, it's what brings the TV audiences, what bring the, the trackside audiences in. And it sounds quite simple when you explain it that way, so elegantly, yet of course you're almost unique. In, in the sense that you've t chosen that path because no, everybody else is so preoccupied with getting the money up front because motor racing is so capital intensive. And your path, dare I say it, does involve quite a lot of work on the side of the teams and yourself to get the sponsorship as a result of the eyeballs that are going out on the live television. And you've done that. You've got some great sponsors in the championship. But our our financial model is, 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 is very different to the you know, Formula One or IndyCar. Or virtually or anything else. Yeah, but, but so, and our financial means are quite modest. You know, we don't have any, we don't have any goals outside being the best championship in the UK. Mm. So we're not trying to sell ourselves to the world. We're not trying to do anything smart or clever other than to deliver the best motorsport championship in the UK. And whilst you've got that as your business mm. model, you don't have to go down all those sorts of different directions to try and create revenue streams that, that, that we don't need. Well, that's another interesting point because we've seen other local championships, Australian V8s being a good example, trying to franchise that brand to New Zealand, to Abu Dhabi and all sorts of things. And yet you've <coughs> never, as you say, you've never fallen tempted. It's like, a, a, dare I say it, like a restaurant in your local village, which you love, and all of a sudden they expand and they franchise and it goes downhill. Well, yeah. Uh, and, and the, the answer I give to a lot of people that ask the same question is, why don't you go and do a couple of races in Europe? Uh, why don't you go and do Spa and everything else? Uh, and as I say to, to people, that's just a vanity exercise. That doesn't deliver me anything other than the, the, the drivers are quite happy because they get to drive on a neat circuit they wouldn't normally drive on, but there'll be no, there'd be no one watching it. The cost of the, to the teams and all that would go through the roof. It's just a, purely, a pure vanity exercise. And the other one that I, which is what you're getting to, the other, the other uh, thing that I say to people is, name me a national championship that has ever been successful internationally. Mm. And it, there isn't. And you can name all of them. IndyCar is never a success internationally. That's why they've contracted back to North yep. America. NASCAR even tried it 
uh, for, for some years. They went and uh, did, did races over, and I think went, went to Germany, they went to Japan, NASCAR yep. tried it. Australian V8s tried it. Um, it doesn't work. You know, mm. what, what's successful in Britain, the BTCC, would probably be derided by a lot of other... Mm. It, 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 it's, it's what works in our country doesn't necessarily work internationally. And, and people need to, in charge of those other championships, need to understand where they are in this world and, and start realising once you get, once you start losing your home audience, then you're losing, you, you, your championship is losing uh, in total. 